there are a few ways that you can manage your profile, your teams, and your members in Office 5. Let's start by taking a look at your personal settings. In the top right corner, you will see your profile picture. And here you can switch between your view as a team manager and your view as a team member. If you wish to know more about the differences between the possible roles, feel free to check out our Help Center article um, about the different roles available. So you can look them up right in here in the question mark Help Center. Now, when we look at your profile, in here, you can click on edit profile. You can see your personal information like your picture, for instance, your time zone, and the languages of both the survey and the app, so Office 5 itself. From the communication section, you can set the frequency of your feedback digest for the teams that you manage. This is also where you and each team member can choose when and how you want to receive your survey. This is an individual setting, not a company setting. See, we're going to go into the gear icon, so the settings. And from here, you can choose between teams and members. So these are your settings. Now, this view may vary depending on the permissions set by your Office Vibe administrators. When we go into Teams, here you can see a high-level view of all the teams that you manage directly or via subteams. And we can see who the team managers are as well as the creation date. You can also make updates to the members on the team. So you can click on them. You can add members in here. You can um, add sub teams. You can see the manager is Barbara in this case and uh, any information relevant to the team and you can update them. Now in the member section of your settings, this is a list of all the members in your teams. You can add members to your team um, if your administrator permissions uh, allow this. And then when you click on a specific members, you have a breakdown of the teams that they are in right here. You can send reminders to inactive members through this section by clicking into more filters and in app. So inactive members are those who haven't answered at least one Pulse survey question in the last 30 days. And to protect anonymity as a team manager, you cannot see um, the identity of the members who are inactive, but you do have the option to send reminders to them. You can also customize the reminder if you want to make it more personal. So the other statuses that you can have in the choices of filters are invited. So these are people who have been invited to Office 5 but haven't joined yet. Um, In-app is a grouping of all the people in the teams that you have been assigned and deactivated are the members who have been deactivated from your team. In this case, when I select that, there aren't any present. If we look into the left side panel, this is the quick view. So first, if we look at the teams, you can see a snapshot of your team's overall scores, goals, resources, and um, recent activity and insights. We display the selected team's top and bottom metrics from here, and you can dive deeper into your team's metrics and pulse survey reporting. You can also navigate the team's settings we looked at earlier by clicking on the gear icon of your team. If you manage multiple teams, you can star or favorite specific teams so that they appear at the top of your list view. Now, if we go down a little bit and we look into the members, you can also select a member from the left side panel. And you can here have visibility on the one-on-ones, goals, action items, and good vibes associated to this user, as well as seeing their settings in the gear icon. So the same settings we saw earlier, but here um, by accessing the member on the left side panel. 